Hey guys, this is Needle Mako. Today, I'll be spinning the wheel to determine which deck I'll be climbing the champion with. So, for our first two decks, we have Jill Antibody for red and Nergagante Spike Launch for black. Both of these decks can wipe out the opponent's field, but I find Jill to be easier to pilot based off of my experience and it doesn't require you to sacrifice life in order to gain advantage. For green, I'll be showing off Chung Lee Kokosho again, but this time I'll be using units that have growth, quest, and present mechanics in order to make our units really tanky so that they can survive from cards that deal a lot of damage to our units or if we ever face against spike launch, our units will have enough HP to survive the hits. For our last deck, we have Morgan Dark Illusion for purple. This deck was purely made for content to see if the halt destruction strategy is viable since the meta favors unit destruction or board wipe consistency. In case you didn't get to see the deck you wanted, I will showcase them in another video. Now, on to the content wheel. Editor's note, this one is a bit of a yikes, especially since I haven't tested out the deck at the time of recording. This deck has a lot of ways to halt our opponent's units, but we lack a way to finish them. So if luck isn't on our side we are in a bit of a pickle especially against jill or nergagante so hopefully rng is on our side and we can climb the champion please give this video a like or comment i at least attempted to make darkness illusion a viable strategy so yeah let's move on to the gameplay <laughs> I'll take good care of you.
so gentle. You're just itching for a fight, huh? Preparation. 
Operations complete. Morning. All preparations complete. There's no point resisting. Just accept it. Thank you. Go. Damn you. 
Don't disappoint me now. Starting off the duck profile, we run three of Lada's camera, which allows us to halt an enemy unit for five seconds. But if we do not meet the present requirement, then we can only halt a unit that costs three or less MP. When you are using this deck, please keep in mind how much evidence you have gained throughout the entire game. Because there'll be some scenarios where you have to use other action cards that don't require you to use evidence in order to pay the present requirement. So for our next action card, we run Psylocke, which decreases the unit with the highest MP in our hand by one, but if we can fulfill its present requirement, it changes its MP cost to one. So in this deck, Volcana cost eight. And if we use this card's ability, we can change that card from an eight to a one. Otherwise, if we don't have the present requirement then it will only change its MP cost to 7 instead. It's our second card that requires present. Then we have Crystal Hunter which is like Lata's camera but it doesn't require any present for our AoE halting, we run two copies of sleep because uh, this card only halt enemy units that have MP cost of four or less. I wish they made it so that you can halt cards that cost five or less, but then this card will slightly be broken. So I could see why they made it four MP or less considering the meta we are currently in. We run one copy of Darkhold which is pretty much 
inexpensive version of Crystal Hunter, but allows us to halt the enemy for 13 seconds instead of 5, which gives us a little extra time to halt other enemy units if we can only halt one at a time. Or if uh, we don't have any other cards to halt any four plus MP cost enemy units, we have this card. And let's say you have uh, let's say you have used a total of 19 MP. If you use Dark Hold, it'll add up to 22, which would allow you to use your hero art. So that's why I run this card. For our negates, we run Acting in Secret. So if we have resolved 7 action cards throughout the game, we can randomly halt one new enemy unit for 5 seconds. Which is really good because there are some scenarios where we need to negate an opponent's card if we are not able to halt them. The only downside to this card is that you have to resolve minimum two action cards if you want to negate something that costs three MP. Because if you don't resolve two action cards, you can only negate your opponent's action cards that cost two or less. So keep that in mind when using this deck or when you mulligan your hand after the game does a terrible job shuffling it for you. So moving on to our last, our last card that can halt the enemy units we run Lost Pearls. This is our main card that we use to halt all the enemy units because it doesn't have an MP restriction like sleep. But if we do not fulfill the present requirement, then it's an expensive version of Crystal Hunter, which only halts one enemy unit. Our first unit that we run in this deck, we run two copies of Judge, which states when he is played, we collect four pieces of evidence. The downside of this card is that when this unit dies, you automatically lose two pieces of evidence but you get to draw one card from your deck and add it to your EX pocket. So a combo that you can do with Judge is you play this card down first. And then you use uh, Nergatail's ability to return it to your EX pocket so that you don't lose two evidence. And then... If a uh, Nergatail hasn't reached its victory condition, meaning that if it hasn't killed an opponent's unit, then you can play you could play judge from your hand and get another four pieces of, of evidence. So in total you can collect a total of eight pieces of evidence, which should be enough for you to use Three Lost Pearls and two Lada's Camera. For our next unit, which is the only unit we run three of, is Maggie, which states if a, if our hero were to take damage, this unit would receive it instead. So if the enemy unit is able to attack us, or if the opponent decides to use an action card to deal direct damage to us, this unit will absorb all the damage instead. And when this unit dies, we automatically collect four pieces of evidence. 
when you're using this card uh, against green be aware of the seal action cards because if this unit is sealed then you will not be able to gain evidence or if you're playing against an Amaterasu player who's using divine intervention as its hero art then if this unit dies because of the hero art we will not gain evidence since the hero art disables death ability and that also includes disabling cards that have revenge because uh, revenge as a mechanic or ability whatever you want to call it it allows you to return that unit to the deck after it's been killed off but since the opponent uses divine intervention you're not able to activate revenge so the unit will go into your graveyard instead of back to your deck and for the next unit which is our last unit that collects evidence we run emma i mainly use this unit against units that have flight since most of them i think have two or less attack so it's another way of stalling if you cannot halt the enemy units next we run blizzard we only run one copy of this card because there are times where we cannot use the hero art so if we want to destroy our enemy units that have halt we have this card because this card um, it does nine damage to all enemy units which is actually a good amount of damage and if we are able to kill off a unit we gain one MP so if we're able to kill three enemy units then we automatically gain three MP for our first legendary unit we run ne Nevin Nevon however you would like to pronounce it uh, we mainly run her because uh, she's she allows us to gain a uh, life advantage if we are able to deal four damage to an enemy unit and if an enemy unit dies this unit gains two hp so if you are able to destroy multiple enemies in one shot let's say by using your hero art or by using blizzard then this unit gains 6 hp this unit also has spillover which is another method for this deck to clear the board if we're not able to use our hero art or blizzard and for our next six cost legendary card we run Date which gains spill over after we hit its uh, growth level to three we mainly run him because uh, aside from clearing the board he's w one of our units that can potentially finish off our opponent and make sure that their HP reached a zero if we have the opportunity and speaking of finishing off our opponent we run two copies of Nergatail obviously you know what this card does because I've mentioned it with judge but a, a thing that I forgot to mention about this card is that if it returns a unit that costs far less it gains one attack and three hp so it becomes a four attack nine hp unit which is really good and it also has agility and um, if we're able to kill one of our enemy units with this card then you can play any random purple unit in your ex pocket onto the field 
when you use the victory ability of this card you will notice that uh, you don't really gain the evidence for Judge or Emma. Their when played ability doesn't trigger when they are called with Nergatail's ability. The main reason why I run two copies of Nergatail instead of only just one is because there are times where I want this unit in my hand to return either Judge or or Emma because I want to use them again to gain evidence. Either that or I want to recycle a Maggie that's about to die so that I can protect myself even more. So that's why I run two instead of one copy of Nergatail. For our last action card, we run Brainwash. We mainly use this to get a pesky unit that the opponent has. Or if we just want to have multiple units on the field and make sure our opponent doesn't gain field advantage, we just grab their unit. So that they have to commit more MP to either play more units on the field or try to destroy our units or remove them. And for our last unit, we run Volcana, which states when this unit is played, it can halt every unit except for itself for 13 seconds which is a good way to set up for your hero art because your hero art requires you to have halted enemy units so that you can destroy them and it's also a good setup for blizzard because blizzard requires all your enemies to be halted the only downside to this card is that after it makes a successful attack it will seal itself and lose to attack also there's a uh, combo that you can do with Volcana if you are able to use uh, Psylocke on it so pretty much what you can do is uh, yeah you play your one MP cost Volcana onto the field, then you return it to the EX pocket with Nergatail. So that will make Volcana's cost go back to 8. And if you are able to save enough MP, you can basically use Volcana's effect again to halt the enemy units for 13 seconds. That's pretty much it for the deck profile. Here's the QR code if you want to try it or if you want to experiment with this deck. Obviously this deck is not the best and maybe I don't have the correct build for Darkness Illusion. So I hope you find this video to be interesting. Give a like or comment and subscribe for more.